Hey, I'm making this video for Dr. Ellis's EDU 330 Science Methods class. I'm going to talk about using Microsoft Paint to make your ideal classroom design. I started by just putting the required components on what I'm actually going to be working with in Microsoft Paint, um, which should be available on any Windows computer with Microsoft Office in it. Um, and the first thing I want to do is figure out how to kind of show this area is going to be 900 square feet, so a 30 by 30 foot. So I looked up a blank ruler. That's what I typed into the search at Google. Was blank ruler, and I really liked this one, which I opened up. And now I'm going to take a screenshot of it on my computer. I hit function, print screen, and then I'm going to go to like a blank paint. Um, folder or file, and then I'm going to paste my screenshot, and then I'm going to copy this ruler. And I'm going to, like, I'm going to try and cut off these numbers while I'm here. But if I don't, I can get it in paint while I'm working on this stuff. So, I'm going to cut it, and I like to put new and just get rid of this stuff, so I can always have a blank. One. And now I'm going to go back to my paint document that's my classroom design. I'm going to paste it in here. Um, and there are some things I want to do to it, probably. Like I'm going to get rid of some of this dark line. So I'll just do this. And then cut. That looks a lot better. I mean, maybe I actually want to start from here because I'm not sure if I cut this off a little bit. So I'll get rid of all, kind of all this stuff over here. And we're going to assume that one of these is about five feet. So we only need five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So this is really as far as we need to go with that. So I'm just going to select it and kind of move away and get rid of this stuff. Okay, so now we've basically got our ruler, and one thing I'm going to do while I go, because the whole point of doing this is to make a key out to the side, and so I'm going to make something over here, and I can move all of these things over a little bit too. Okay, and so now like I'll insert a text box to explain what this represents. And so this right here is representative of 5 feet. Okay. And so now what I also like to do is have Microsoft PowerPoint open. Oops, I get my select button. Okay, so I like to have Microsoft PowerPoint open. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. And I'm gonna go to PowerPoint because PowerPoint has, is the easiest way for me to rotate an image. And so I want the image to be rotated to be sideways, Oops. like that. I'm going to go put that back in my classroom design. So there's one version. And then I need it to go open my box up a little bit. And then I'm going to go um, basically make the exact same thing only upside down. So I'll copy it there. I'm going to go back to my classroom design. I'll just try to remove this box over. And then this needs to get moved over. We have something like this, and now we can draw. These little images help you decide how to draw like a shape. And this is like the inside color, and this is the outside color. If you do something like this, this is only um, like a border, so we'll do that. So we'll draw. Oh, I'm gonna have to move these things again. Oops, and gotta get my select tool. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this.
So this is our, you can make it, you know, if you made it a little bit bigger with the ruler or whatever, you can make it like that. But anyway, so this represents feet, 30 by 30, so that's 900 square feet in here. And now, what I'm going to do is just go down the list, I'm going to make a teacher's desk. I think that this is a good shape, and I think I will use the outside color and an inside color. And I think I'd want my teacher's desk to be, oh, I'm going to choose this though. And you always need the inside color to be white whenever you use your select tool and move stuff around or else you'll end up getting when you move it around, you'll end up leaving a space that's not white underneath it. Okay, so this will be outside, this will be inside, and I'm going to do about this shape, and I'm going to do this, and this is like kind of a line outside. And I want it to be probably that big, maybe. So now I'm going to select it. Again, I changed my inside color to white. Um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and cut this out, and I'm going to take it back to PowerPoint, which is, again, where I like to rotate everything. So, I want it to be, like, diagonal like that. Let me just copy that so I can see some of my stuff here. And one good thing is to always use this second one because it lets you um, it lets you scoot things like right up to it without having that white, which you would if you have this first one selected. It like covers things up. So always do this second one. I discovered that while doing this project. Um, okay, so then same idea for all of the little tables, whatever you want your outside and your inside colors to be. You can make them, well, just make sure to select the middle button. So I, I chose to do tables for my classroom design. Actually, one of the best ways to do this, um, oops, select tool, is to just make a shape that you're happy with, and then to copy and paste it, and copy and paste it, so you really have a uniform and you can copy and paste two at a time, and that makes it faster, especially if you're going to go do the chairs. Because um, you can always move them around. Like, and I did mine in kind of a semicircle. But you want to do it, I'm assuming you want to do approximately, you know, 25 or 30 students to kind of get it figured out. But since it's your ideal classroom, you can maybe do it for fewer. Anyway, so this is the basic idea, is making a bunch of shapes and then taking them out over to the side and making a key that says, you know, student desk. You have to always remember to change your font colors and everything. Oops. Um, and then, one of the big things is at the end, I take, like, this over. And select tool always. I take this over, and I'll probably if this is my key over here, I would take this all over at the same time, and copy it and put it in the Microsoft Word document that I'm going to type up about my ideal classroom. And so it makes a nice little picture. I always put everything behind text because then I can work with it more easily. And then. I would go down and I'd start writing about the classroom as a whole, and then I would, what I did was I also used this design I made, and I would talk about, like I have, say I have something in this corner, let's just put, you know, like, this is all kinds of things that I actually made that I don't have time to make right now. Um, and I'm going to do my select tool, and I want to talk about this corner. So I'm going to take a copy of this, and then I'm going to take it over to my ideal classroom Word document that I'm making right here. And I would cut out all of these required components before I did that. I would just have my key over here. And you want to just cut this stuff out as you go, probably. But anyway, so now I'm typing, and this is like the science corner or whatever.
and so I put a picture of it and then I'd start talking about the features in it. So that is how I did mine and that is how you can use Microsoft Paint um, and you know just continue to make shapes to go along with the features and for the windows and all that you can just do like a square box that's like a long ways. So that is basically the idea about how you can do it. Okay, thank you.